I want to talk about self-love. But before we talk about self-love, we need to define what love actually is. I feel like there's a lot of misconceptions about the idea of love, especially in the romantic context. Okay, people believe that love is adoration. It is pedestalizing someone else and, in effect, lowering your self-worth. Okay, you are lowering your self-worth, making someone else seem better than you. And that is seen as noble. But in reality, that's not love. Okay, that is just toxicity. Love is acceptance, not adoration. Love is knowing and accepting all of who you are in the same way that you would accept your partner with all of their faults. And through that acceptance, you want the best for them. You accept yourself for all of your faults. And through that acceptance, you want the best for yourself. Now, I want to pose a question that may get you thinking a little bit. Okay, if everybody that you ever met treated you and talked to you the same way that you treat yourself and talk to yourself, how would you feel? Okay, if everyone talked to you the same way that you talk to yourself in your mind, would you be satisfied with the way that people treat you? If the answer is no, that means that we have some work to do. Okay, that means that you probably have some negative talk cycles and some deeply rooted issues that we need to work on which is why I'm making this video. I wanna help you guys overcome all of the issues that I've had to overcome in terms of developing that authentic love for myself. Okay, self-love is the foundation of my channel. Every video that you see me make is founded on the basis of self-love. Self-love and confidence, these two things go hand in hand. Confidence is the pride in who you are, but self-love is the acceptance of who you are. You can't be proud of yourself if you don't accept yourself. Now, with that being said, the first thing that you can do to build self-love and confidence is positive self-talk. I asked you earlier, if everyone talked to you the same way that you talk to yourself, how would you feel? Okay, if the answer is not overwhelmingly positive and encouraged, then the chances are that you need to work on your internal dialogue. Okay, now, this is something that I've struggled with even recently, okay, I've been, you know, tearing myself down for every little mistake that I make. You know, if I sleep through my alarm and I wake up at one o'clock in the afternoon, you know, I, I hold that against myself and I talk down on myself internally, okay? It's all subconscious. Or, you know, if I skip a gym session to go play basketball instead, I, you know, talk down on myself and that's not healthy, that's not okay. And I know that a lot of you guys probably deal with that as well. Okay, so the main thing that we need to focus on is being aware of these thought cycles and replacing them with positive thought cycles. Okay, per the law of substitution, shout out to Dub Sports. He's the one that enlightened me on the law of substitution. But per the law of substitution, you cannot get rid of a thought without having another thought to replace it. Okay, so with all of this negative self-talk, going on in your mind, you can't get rid of it until you start positive self-talk. You have to begin that new cycle, initiate that cycle of self-love, self-acceptance, and acknowledging your accomplishments. Okay, so today, for example, I slept in and, you know, I was a little down on myself about it. But then I took some time to think about all of the things that I'm doing to better my life each and every day. Okay, it's so subtle because, you know, I've adjusted to the life that I live so much so that it seems normal to me. But the things that I do, they're not normal. Okay, especially compared to my old life. The things that I'm doing, taking cold showers every day, going to the gym three times a week, filming a video and editing that video and posting every single day. Okay, making money, doing what I love to do, helping people out, making that my purpose stepping into my greatness. You know, little things like washing my face every day, being off of social media. Okay, there's a lot of great things that I'm doing in my day-to-day -day life. And the chances are, there are a lot of great things that you're doing in your day-to-day -day life as well. For one, you're watching this video. Okay, you are taking that initiative to start 
that positive thought cycle in your head, that positive self-perception. You are building it from the ground up. Learn to acknowledge all of the positive things that you're doing in your life, okay? Because you are probably not giving yourself enough credit for all of the great things that you're doing or for the impact that you're making. It's all about just learning to shift your perception and give yourself credit for your accomplishments, even the small accomplishments, the small victories. Celebrate the small victories as if they were large victories because at the end of the day, when you want big things in life, big things are just small things accumulated over time. A million dollars seems like a lot, but all it is is one million one dollar bills. Learn to be just as grateful for that one dollar bill as you would for a million dollars, okay? Because they're the same thing. It's scaled differently, but it's the same thing, the same concept. It's all abundance. And that is the next thing that you can do to practice self-love. Be grateful. Be grateful not only for who you are and the things that you're doing in your life, but be grateful for the things around you. Okay, there was a time when, you know, whatever you're watching this video on, there was a time when you wanted that thing. You know, if it's a phone, a computer, a TV, there was a time when this was brand new to you. And, you know, you watched the first video on there or you turned it on for the first time and you were like, wow, this is so amazing, you know, and life was so great. But now it's just, you know, it's just a device. It's a tool that you use every day and it loses its lust. Learn to be grateful for everything that you have as if it were the first day that you got it. Okay, that will change your perception of the world around you in such a profound way that it'll feel like you're being reborn. Okay, it'll feel like you're starting a new life. Now, speaking of being reborn, okay, I believe that we are born two times in this life. We're physically born the day that we come out of our mothers, but we're spiritually born the day that we learn to accept ourselves for who we are. Unfortunately, some people are only born once in their lives, but I don't want that to be you, okay? I want you guys to experience that feeling of understanding and loving yourself unconditionally, unconditional acceptance for who you are, and knowing that comparison is unnecessary, okay? That is the next thing that you need to do to practice self-love in its entirety. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Now, I know this is very difficult. This is something that I struggle with to this day. Like I said, you know, I talk down on myself for sleeping in, but the only reason why I do that is because, you know, I see all of these other very successful people that are where I want to be that don't sleep in. You know, they're waking up at five o'clock in the morning and it makes me feel like I'm behind. But in reality, I'm doing just fine. You know, I'm doing just fine where I am in life right now. And you know, a lot of the things that we tear ourselves down about, subconsciously, it comes from comparing ourselves to other people, especially if you're on social media, okay? Like I said, it's all subconscious. You might see that person who's living your perceived dream life, and you might think nothing of it, but that thought is stored in your head. And over time, those thoughts accumulate. And as you subconsciously compare yourself to those people, you start to have a negative self-perception. And that is because you can never be a better version of them than they can be of themselves. So as long as you are trying to be somebody that you're not, you're never gonna live a full life, okay? You're never going to be living your life to its fullest potential. Instead of comparing yourself to other people, compare yourself to who you used to be. Okay, right now, you know, there's times when I feel like I'm not doing enough. I feel like I'm not successful enough. I feel like I'm not where I wanna be in life. And when I feel that way, I don't ignore the feeling, but I take some time to reach out to the Jordan from 2019. Okay, I step into the shoes of Jordan from July 2019, two years ago. And I look at life from his perspective and I realize that I'm doing very, very well. Okay, if he was living the life that I'm living right now, he wouldn't even know how to handle it. That's how you know that you've leveled up. When you know that your past self could not even handle the pressures of the life that you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis, that's how you know that you've grown. Okay, that is true growth. But growth comes from acceptance. You can't grow into somebody that you refuse to accept. If you're trying to be like other people, you're only stagnating your growth. 
and you're placing arbitrary limitations on yourself because like I said, you will never be a better version of someone else than they could be of themselves. But when you learn to be all of who you are and focus on yourself, your potential is limitless. Okay, you have unlimited potential because nobody has ever been you before. So you get to be the first and last and only person to set that bar. Okay, you are in competition with nobody but yourself. And, you know, with your previous self, either you've gotten better or you've gotten worse. If you've regressed from where you used to be, then at least you know that you can get back to that point because that was you. You know that you're capable. But if you've gotten better, take that as inspiration to keep going, keep growing. Okay, I know that two years from now in 2023, I'm going to be a completely different person. Okay, I'm going to level up so much that I'm going to be unrecognizable. And that comes from being on my purpose, which is the next thing that you can do to practice self-love. Okay, being on your purpose is one of the highest forms of self-love because it represents you being your true authentic self, the person that you came here to be. Now, as a collective, our purpose is to expand. But on the micro level, the way that we do that is by being who we are. Okay, in order to, you know, expand, in order to grow, as I explained earlier, you have to be yourself. You can't grow if you're not being yourself. Learn to be yourself and your purpose will fall right into your lap. And I have made a video on purpose if you want to know more about finding your purpose. But, you know, once you do find your purpose, stay on your purpose. Okay, be on your purpose and fulfill your highest, most divine form. <laughs>